you how to run a live wallpaper on your Mac desktop background. Uh, so uh, basically it just uses the screensavers so you can get custom screensavers from them in the background. Uh, pretty lightweight. Uh, you have dual GPUs, so uh, Radeon 7850s. So I don't really see any performance lag. Uh, runs OpenGL, so or OpenCL, whatever Apple wants to call it. Anyways, um, so you just need the simple free tool. Uh, the developer's web page isn't available anymore for some reason. So uh, I've been using. I just use Mac Update. Uh, they're still hosting the file, so you can click download it. And it grabs it from the Git or GitHub cloud. Ugh, cloud can't talk tonight. Anyways, download that, install it, put it in your application folder, and start up. So we got it right there. So you'll see here my uh, screen stop because uh, we're loading the actual program. So it runs in the background. You do have to start it once and then it'll start up. Now I'm just going to clear it out just so we can kind of show you quickly how to do So you'll have your configuration right here. So we'll delete mine. Uh, choose your wallpaper. Now uh, built into Mac OS if it loads here. They have the solid colors, so the solid colors will probably show the best if you're looking for I mean a uh, uh, move-in kind of effect. You can also use the static image. So uh, what you want to do here is you just want to go in and add. Um, so we're going to add in a quartz. Um, that is the uh, like uh, <laughs> the type of file that you'll use the screensaver anyways you're gonna want to navigate to this folder here so go all the way back go system library screensavers and then you'll see so uh, save the dot saver aren't supported you will need the quartz So make sure that uh, whatever screensaver you're downloading is actually the proper one here. So I'll just use shell for right now, and then we'll turn it on. Let's see, I'm getting a bit of a glitch here. Oh, one thing I forgot to say. Uh, make sure you set this to full screen. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> This might be, oh, there you go. Make sure your frame rate is set to uh, set up a bit. So you can see I can go right into 60 frames if I want. But I might start using more processing power as we get higher up. So make sure you set your frame rates accordingly. 30 frames a second will be more than sufficient. And if you see right there, it dropped quite a bit on my processor. I think I had mine at 15. Yeah. And we'll see here, and you can watch the process, so you can kind of figure from there. And play with it. Anyways, I don't want to make the video too, too long. But uh, basically, this is how you set your screensavers or um, other, you know, ones that you get as your wallpaper. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, just uh, ask in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.